Okay, a lot of people when they get up here they start right there. Okay. Well these choppy ain't very big nowadays, so I kind of pinch back up under the head a little bit. Maybe all the meat I can get. Okay, now uh, let me stop you right there before you go any farther. Now, now what he did, I want you to look and see. A lot of people, like Jerry's saying, they're gonna, they're just gonna go down right here. But he's getting a whole nother half inch or inch of meat up underneath here by laying his knife in this way and then turning it. And I can promise you, he has went right along that backbone. Jerry's not gonna let any bit of that crappie go to waste. So you run that in and you just let your knife do the work. You don't have right. to push, do you? No. Just let your knife do the work right here along this backbone. And then before you cut the skin off, it's usually easier to hold if you just take it and lay it down like that. Okay, now. I generally do both sides, or if I've got a number of crappie, I may do a whole bunch before I do the roof station. And I go down as far as I can go. Because when I start over, I'm going to lose just a little bit of it. Okay. Now, uh, folks, I'm telling you, that thing's about a whisker thin. <laughs> Jerry, Jerry does a really good job on these crappies. So there's no meat left here on the skin. Uh, very, You know, just just he's just done it about as good as you can get it. There's no meat left here across the backbone. That's where most of your meat is on a crappie. It's in the back right in here. That's where they're the thickest. He's went in here and he's turned his knife uh, both ways. So from this point on, Jerry's done with this right. and we're ready to go to the, to the uh, side pieces. Right. Now just make sure you don't leave any bones in it. Now you can, you, if you got a good knife, you can kind of cut in under the ribs a little bit. When you get to the bottom ribs on these bigger crappie, just turn around and come right back like that. There you go right there now, look at that. Okay, so, um, you know, a lot of people, what they're going to do is they're going to come in here, and when they fillet this, they're just going to chop it off right, you know, chop it off right there, and Jerry's getting a whole other piece of meat by angling in. You just want to make sure that you don't angle in so far that you actually do get some of the smaller bones right in there. But uh, that is a really nice crappie fillet. Let's see if he can get that one done. And then I want him to start over and do a crappie. I'm not going to interrupt him. Uh, start over on this second crappie right here so you can see the whole thing step by step again. And uh, we'll wrap it up. Now, a lot of times when you get this crappie clean, there will be a little bit of along the backbone a little bit of skin or something go ahead and pull it off while you're doing it okay okay and the wife's a lot happier when she gets ready to cook it okay now here we go now you can actually do these pretty fast if you've got a good knife and you, and you really want to go i'm trying to go a little slower than you well, that's really fast for most of the people watching this video, so uh, most of the people just are trying to figure out the, the right way to fillet a crappie. There again, here is a little strip on the side, back of it. You can generally just get a hold of it and peel it off. And then you, there again, you want to come back and do like we did before. Cut that on the edge of that and then make sure you get plumb to the end of the bones before you and feel of it. Make sure you ain't got a bone in it. Now I'm going to wash these off before Jerry show, throws that one in there and I'm going to show you the difference of, of taking taking your time and really washing the blood and the oil out of these fillets here what, what they're going to look like. And you really need to take, take good care of your crappie uh, as soon as you get done. And you can see the difference. You can see how much wider the meat is right there. If you just do a little simple rinse uh, on those before you put them up to freeze. So thanks a lot, Jerry.